Heavy clay soil can frustrate even the most optimistic gardener. Let's look at how to transform that soil, waterlogged soil, into a rich, loamy clay that is just right for planting. 1. Contour the land. Add contours to your garden terrain by creating a gentle undulation of alternating high peaks and low valleys. As water undulates and slowly filters through high and low points on the land, it is oxygenated, which reduces waterlogging. Organic matter naturally builds up in low spots where water collects, while high spots provide planting areas that dry out faster. Gardens with heavy clay soil can become compacted very easily, so it's essential to think about contours, peaks and valleys, to combat gravity and drainage problems. 2. Aerate Clay Soil Injecting air pockets into clay soil is essential for improving drainage, breaking up compaction, and inviting in soil microorganisms. When clay soil isn't prepared properly, a soil sheet of clay can be found underneath a layer of loosened, amended soil. Use your tool of choice to aerate garden soil twice a year, in the fall as the season ends and in the spring before planting. Fall aeration is especially important because it counters any acts of gravity, compaction that occurred throughout the season. 3. Add soil amendments to clay soil. Add soil amendments immediately following aeration so that the rain can wash them into the holes and soften the clay. You'll need lots of organic matter at first to really change the structure of the soil. The following types of organic matter attract microorganisms that speed up soil improvement by developing tunnels, more aeration, and pooping a lot. More organic matter to break up the tightly wound clay particles. Some amendments to consider for clay soil are compost, green manure, leaf mold, livestock manures, and worm castings. 4. Mulch appropriately. Once you've aerated and added soil amendments, add mulch if you won't be sowing a cover crop. Bare soil is a recipe for compaction. Shredded leaves are my favorite mulch. I get to recycle free matter that I find in my own yard. Leaves feed the soil quite well. Straw used to be a very appropriate and age-old mulch material. During rainy periods, mulch lightly so that the soil can breathe and won't become susceptible to fungal issues. Mulch heavily in dry and hot conditions to protect soil. 5. Avoid walking in the beds. After all the work you've done to improve your clay soil, the last thing you should do is walk in the garden bed and cause compaction all over again. Garden soil is very expensive when you think about all of the time you've taken to improve it. Purchase soil amendments and collect and disperse organic material. Create garden beds narrow enough that you don't have to walk in them to manage all sides. 6. Plant a cover crop. Cover crops help incorporate soil amendments deeper into clay soil by rooting thickly and downward. They reduce erosion and enrich soil. You can plant either fall or summer cover crops.